questions with Preston live from the van that I will be living in for the next seven days. So check this out. Uh, I just got through doing a really awesome surf session and I had this epiphany that I want to share. That is, I was thinking about Pavlov and his famous experiment where he rang a bell during feeding time for these dogs every day and they would salivate and then eventually he just rang the bell and the dogs would salivate which is what we call a conditioned response right so the question I have for you and the question I posed for myself which is why I made this video is where where am I responding based on the bell that's rang the bell called, he broke up with me. The bell called, I'm not enough. The bell called, I'm stupid. The bell called, I just can't make money. Like, these things are conditioned responses based on previous circumstances. You know, one example is, most of you don't know, um, I'm dyslexic. And as a kid, I didn't know that's what it was. They misdiagnosed me, they put me in special education classes, and from that point on, I felt like I was stupid. So when they, when they would ask who wants to, you know, read aloud, I would never raise my hand. And, you know, year after year after year, I shrank further and further into that. And recently I caught myself having a, um, Alexia and I were reading something on a computer. And it was time to scroll down, and I was probably at the top and she was probably at the bottom. She said, go ahead. And I caught myself going, oh, well, just forget it. it it's okay. I, I, I'm basically saying I'm, I'm not smart enough to keep up. So I scrolled to the next part and pretended like I read the passage. Well, that's a problem. That's a problem on many levels. The beautiful part is, is that I caught it. And I called it what it was, which is a liar. Because who I really am, I'm a genius. Just like you are. My gifts and talents my, my, my soul signature, nobody else has. And that's a beautiful thing. And I get to celebrate that. You know, Richard Branson is dyslexic. And a lot of other people, you know, I, I learn in a different way. That doesn't make me less than, but I caught the conditioned response. So I ask you, I challenge you to take a look at, in your life, where are you quickly responding to something when somebody says something? Oh, you said that? That means that. The circumstance happened, we make the story about it, and then we never come back based on the, the response. I watch women, because I just like to watch people in general, but I watch women watch other women when they enter the room. That is one of the craziest, funniest, most sickening things you could ever do. Because I watch sometimes the, the, the competition the cat claws that come out when they judge each other and look at each other's shoes and makeup and hair. And I get it. I get it. You have film and television and all kinds of media telling you that you are not enough. That the pretty girl gets everything. So everybody's judging each other, trying to be the prettiest girl. Condition response. So I ask you this week, I challenge you this week to just scan your life and listen. Listen, watch, be aware of when you quickly have a thing happen and you go, oh, I do that all the time. Somebody cuts me off and I flip them off, right? Condition, response. I love you guys. If you are new to the family, click subscribe below. If you are not new to the family, I love you. I love you if you're new to the family as well, because like, we're all awesome. Um, and stay in touch, leave me a comment, please share this message. There are people all the time who say, like, your messages um, touch my heart. I have people that write me quite a bit and they say, you know, your message two years ago saved my life, this particular video. So, like, don't underestimate the power of messages like this. The media is sending out a bunch of crap. Let's together send out awesome stuff. I love you guys. See you on the other side. I'm about to go surfing right now. Uh, I'm here in San Francisco at Ocean Beach. Get it in, get it out. Let's go. Ah! which was rage, which was fighting, which was playing sports and bumping up against dudes. Because that's what we're told to be.